So with the Gen 9 anime starting in April, I want to talk about our two new protagonists, Rico and Roy, and specifically their connection to Rayquaza. We don't know much about either character yet, but there are some conclusions we can come to after not only looking at the trailer, but also Pokemon Journeys and Ash's adventure as a whole. So today I want to talk about what connection I think Rayquaza has to Rico and Roy, and the role it could play in the Scarlet and Violet anime. So getting right into it, in the trailer we see Rico picking her starter Sprigatito, and that's followed by Tex saying that a brand new adventure is about to begin, which could imply that her adventure will begin after picking Sprigatito. After this, we see Rayquaza before it transitions to Rico and Roy and the rest of the starter Pokemon, and going with this order, that would mean that after picking Sprigatito, Rico will encounter Rayquaza before then meeting Roy and the rest of his Pokemon. This sounds almost exactly like what we got with Ash meeting Pikachu in episode 1 of the series before they encounter Ho-Ho at the end of the episode, which could imply that Rayquaza will be Rico's Ho-Ho and possibly the catalyst for her going on a journey, like what Mew was to go. So so how does this relate to her connection with Roy and what could this mean for their goals and adventures? Well, when it comes to what this could mean for Rico, the first and obvious option is that this will inspire her to travel the world, or at least the Paldea region, until she can eventually reunite with Rayquaza. When it comes to why she would want to meet Rayquaza again, it could just be to battle it, which I think would be cool and reminiscent of how Ash wanted to battle Lugia, or it could be to catch it like we saw Go attempt to do with both Mew and Lugia. When it comes to Roy, these options could apply to him as well, if Rayquaza is to him what Lugia was to Ash and Go at the start of Pokemon Journeys. Lugia was the Pokemon that brought Ash and Go together for different reasons, and was the Pokemon to witness them decide to depart again, which was the start of another phase of both their journeys. So if Rayquaza has this connection to Rico and Roy, it could be the catalyst for both of their adventures or their future goals. When looking at both perspectives, if Rayquaza is the catalyst for the two of them meeting, or at least the two of them teaming up, I don't think we'll see it much in the series for a few reasons. The first is because it's a legendary Pokemon and a shiny one at that, so the the chances of seeing it are going to be very rare. We only saw Lugia and Mew at the start and end of the series, and Ash has only seen Ho-Ho a handful of times at best, so I doubt we're going to see Rayquaza often since it's a legendary Pokemon from the Hoenn region, and this series is seemingly going to start in Paldea. So even if it is the catalyst for the two of them going on a journey, I doubt we'll see Rayquaza more than twice in this series. So to quickly recap the two possibilities, option A is that Rayquaza becomes the catalyst and inspiration for the two of them on their journey, like what Ho-Ho was to Ash. This does doesn't mean that they'll catch or battle it, just that it inspired them to seek out more Pokemon and explore the world. I think this is the likely scenario since the Gen 9 anime will likely take place or be focused in Paldea, so they won't be in the Hoenn region seeking out Rayquaza. Option B is that Rayquaza becomes their goal, with one or both of them trying to catch and battle it, like what Go attempted in Project Mew, or what Ash and Go attempted in the final episode with Lugia. I think both these options would be interesting, and I'd love for one of them to have the goal of catching or battling legendary Pokemon, so that we could get a change or an evolution of what the main character is after, but with that said, let me know what connection you think Rayquaza has to Rico and Roy if any, and how will it connect to the Gen 9 anime. Be sure to give me your thoughts in the comment section below, I have more discussion videos on the way, so be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and bye.